Hello and welcome back to Microbial Concepts. So in this video, let's quickly discuss few MCQs on central dogma. So what is central dogma? Replication, then transcription and translation. These are the three main concepts that we learn under central dogma. So if your concepts are clear, let's see. Can you answer these MCQs or not? So let's start. So first is which enzyme is responsible for unwinding the DNA double helix during replication? So the correct answer here is helicase. Why? Because the role of this enzyme is to open up the DNA at replication 4. You can see here. Okay, it opens up the DNA, unwinds it. Then which enzyme synthesizes the RNA primer needed for DNA replication? So primase is the one which synthesizes the RNA primer which are required for the replication. Then third question is, in which direction does DNA polymerase synthesize the new DNA strand? So it is always three prime, oh sorry, five prime to three prime, okay? Then what is the role of DNA ligase in DNA replication? So it heals the nicks in the DNA backbone. That means the gaps. It heals the gaps in the DNA backbone. Then which enzyme? Uh, removes RNA primers and replaces them with DNA during DNA replication. So DNA polymerase 1 is one which uh, removes the RNA primers and we have three different types of DNA polymerase. DNA polymerase 1, DNA polymerase 2 and DNA polymerase 3, right? So one we have seen, it removes RNA primers and joins the Okazaki fragments. DNA polymerase 2, it functions as backup polymerase for DNA repair and is also involved in editing, proofreading, etc. It starts or restarts the replication when DNA is damaged. That is the role of DNA polymerase 2. What about DNA polymerase 3? So the main replicative enzyme in uh, prokaryotes, which is responsible for replicating the E. coli chromosome is the DNA polymerase 3. It synthesizes both the leading strand of DNA and the Okazaki fragments, okay? In prokaryotes, where does transcription occur? So transcription occurs in cytoplasm, okay? And in case of eukaryotes, it occurs in nucleus. Then which region of the gene does RNA polymerase bind to initiate the transcription? So now we are moving towards transcription. So promoter is the region where the RNA polymerase it binds. Okay. Now, what is the function of the sigma factor in prokaryotic transcription? So, the sigma factor you can see here, it binds to the promoter. So, everything it starts or it initiates the transcription. Okay. So, its role is in initiation. Now, in eukaryotes, where does transcription occur? So, in eukaryotes, it occurs in nucleus. Then which RNA polymerase is responsible for synthesizing mRNA in eukaryotes? Okay, so RNA polymerase 2 is responsible for synthesizing the mRNA in eukaryotes. Now what modification is added to the 5' prime end of eukaryotic mRNA? So to protect that, uh, to protect the mRNA from degradation, we have the 5' prime cap, okay? The what process removes introns from pre-mRNA in eukaryotes? So, uh, introns, they are removed by splicing, okay? So, not capping. Capping is done for uh, protection for, of the mRNA from degradation. And splicing is where we remove the unwanted or non-coding regions of the mRNA, that is introns, okay? So, we do that by splicing. Then now moving towards translation where the proteins are synthesized, right? So in prokaryotes, which ribosomal unit, subunit, it binds to the mRNA first during translation initiation. So at first, 30S uh, subunit, it binds, okay? Then what is the start codon for translation? So the start codon is AUG, okay? You can see it is on mRNA. And the anticodon is on tRNA, that is 
U A C. Okay, don't get confused between codon and anticodon. Anticodon is on tRNA and codon is on mRNA. Okay, then which molecule carries amino acids to the ribosome during translation? So that is tRNA. Okay. The next is in eukaryotes, where does translation occurs? So translation in eukaryotes it occurs in cytoplasm. Okay. Or uh, endoplasmic reticulum. Okay, you can say that. So you need to know uh, where um, these uh, processes, that is, replication, transcription, and translation, uh, in which location of a cell or which at which site these uh, processes are taking place. For example, in case of prokaryotes, replication, transcription, and uh, translation occur in cytoplasm itself but dna replication and transcription in case of eukaryotes occurs in nucleus and uh, translation occurs in cytoplasm or endoplasmic uh, reticulum okay then which enzyme catalyzes the formation of peptide bonds during translation so peptidyl transferase is enzyme which forms the peptide bond between the two amino acids and it helps in formation of a protein or protein structure okay now which site on the ribosome does the incoming incoming amino acid trna bind to during elongation so a site is where the trna will bind okay then here the peptidyl trans peptidyl transferase enzyme will act it will the binding of the amino acid to the other amino acid or matching of codon to anticodon will happen and then it will exit through the e site okay the empty trna that's how the uh, ape site of the ribosomes they work then which sorry what is the function of poly a tail added to the three prime end of the eukaryotic mRNA. So it protects the mRNA from degradation, right? Then which factor is involved in the termination of translation? So release factor is involved in the termination. Elongation is for elongation uh, process, continuous process, right? Helicase is for unwinding of the DNA. So these are not what uh, we are looking for here. So the answer is release factor. Even sigma factor, it binds to the promoter in, and it is uh, important in initiation of translation, not the termination. So answer is release factor. Now these questions, they cover key concepts and mechanisms which are involved in DNA replication, transcription and translation in both prokaryotes and eukaryotes. So I hope these questions are useful to you all. And just to give you an idea that what kind of MCQs you may get, okay? So keep practicing, uh, do search a few more questions on internet and get prepared properly. Thank you for watching.